Now it is the the next verse. It is called the path of the lesser beings. I mean, it's like uh, now it is the main part. There are the three points of the main part, which is the demonstrating the path of the three kind of beings. First is the path of the lesser beings who give up wrongdoing after having become frightened by the suffering of the lower realms. And uh, that is like a kind of, we call the lesser beings. And the teaching itself, there is no the, uh, degrees or the classifications to say lesser, medium, and higher. But according to the follower or the practitioner of uh, teaching of the dharmas, then there are three kind of beings, follower or practitioners. Here is the specific first one we say the lesser beings. Why is we call the lesser beings? Because they have such frightened by the suffering of the lower realms, and it is uh, they are very much afraid to reborn in the hell, to reborn in the hunger ghosts, and reborn to the animal realms. When they are concerning to them, they are very much afraid. And therefore we call the lesser weakers, weakles. The path of the inferior individual, the unbearable suffering of the inferior state, are the result of the negative actions, the Buddha said. Therefore, never to commit, even at the risk of the own, one's life, a harmful act is the Bodhisattva's practice. Against or never do harmful acts is the Bodhisattva's practice. Harmful acts is Bodhisattva's. <laughs> oh, see, we need to add this negative word. Where? Never, never, never to commit a harmful act. Never, never to commit a harmful act. Where? Never to commit, never comma, to commit. even at the risk of one's life, a harmful act. They are going together in the two lines. Never. But the 37 practices, the, the 37, each line, each line, never goes together. Namion <laughs> Meshit. Of course, you need to look at the previous line, otherwise, you don't. Nanyo Mishu. Kare Nanyo Mishu. Okay, but we, we can to look, okay? All the sufferings of the low Ramanas, so extremely difficult to bear because the, the uh, low Ramanas sufferings are the taught by the sage of the Buddha to be the fruit of one's evil actions. Therefore, it is the practice of the Bodhisattvas to concentratedly referring them evil actions, even at the cost of their own life. That is the truth. 
and uh, for themselves it is uh, difficult to uh, to abear the low Rana's sufferings. When they are hearing of the suffering of the three low Rana's, three low, low Rana's, hell Rana's, hunger ghost Rana's, and animal Rana's. And each of these hell, these Rana's, has different sufferings. For example, each one is has true principle, major true sufferings. For example, in the hell realms, hot suffering, cold sufferings. In the hunger ghost realms, you have thirsty suffering, hunger ghost, hungry sufferings. In the animal realms, there's like under the control other sentient beings and is not freedom them. And therefore, when they hear about the low realm of sufferings, they are very much induced fear, terrified. And when they are actually defense one, it is the extremely difficult to bear that. And then they want to be quickly to reborn in the superior realms. Because superior realms there are three superior Ranamas, human Ranamas, God Ranamas, dummy God Ranamas. And uh, therefore, why it's become the lesser vehicle, lesser vehicle? We need to talk about this here. And uh, they have such confidence, like a kind of karma. Because he said, it's like the sage of the Buddha, he said that the inferior Ranamas sufferings is the result by the negative actions. And also the superior three Ranamas, the happiness also is uh, received by the positive actions. This is the indirectly to saying that this is the saying the by the sage of the Buddha. And therefore, we cannot to act any negative or evil actions. Even though the we need to cause, spend the course of the, our own life, we never ever commit commitment of the unwholesome actions. Because we do not bear about the inferior Ranamas sufferings. And also Buddha, he said that, and those maturation of the everything's result, or in the inferior Ranamas or the superior Ranamas, everything is arising from the cause. And all those are without cause, never ever result. And therefore, negative action, positive actions, all of them are inevitable. The affability, or how do you say, inevitable, maybe we can just say. And the omniscient of the Buddha, the sage of the Buddhas, he directed to saying that do not commit any unwholesome actions. Because if you do that, then it's like you are going to enter the inferior Ranamas. And he explained the suffering of the inferior sufferings. And therefore, he explained perfectly about the causalities. Whatever you do, the cause of the this and that, inevitably result, maturation or the consequence is like this and that. And therefore we call the Buddha Shatyamani or Buddha is the Rishi. Therefore we call the truth speaker. Therefore we call the supreme teacher. Therefore we call the extraordinary teachers. And there's no 
incomparable any other teachers. And because he telling to us the truth of the causalities. And also these practitioners, they have a such a view, faith, devotion into the causalities. They understand inevitable of the causalities and then they are full of that. They can, it's like, the, but why they become the lesser? Because they haven't got much compassion. They only concern with themselves. I want to be quickly achieved, reborn in the superior realms of the human damning God and God realms. I cannot to help those inferior realms because those are drover of the evil actions and also they result, they receive evil actions consequence. If I be there, how I can to bear their suffering, how I can to be those <coughs> difficult sufferings. And therefore then the motivation is very much lesser. And then it's like they are become the lesser vehicles. And then is the middling, the next is verse, verse 9. The nature of the happiness of the three words, like a doop doop, doop doop, I don't understand this one, but doop doop. On the tip of the balance of the grass is do disappear in a mere instant to pursue never changing supreme liberation is the Buddhist Sabbath practice. Can you come back to here? Maybe it's, maybe my this sentence is missing. Look, look, this there's no 